Welcome to New Life Live with host and founder of New Life Ministries, Stephen Arterburn. New Life Live is dedicated to transforming lives one at a time, thanks to the giving hearts of you, our listeners. Our goal is to provide you with wisdom from God's Word to give you hope and help in life's hardest places. If you have a question you'd like to ask today, our phone lines are open. Call 1-800-229-3000. That number again is 1-800-229-3000. Now here's Steve. Hi, everybody. Welcome to New Life Live. Joining me today, Dr. Sherry Keffer. Hi, Sherry. Hey, it's great to be with you. Great to be with you and Becky Brown in the studio here in Carmel, Indiana. Hey, Merry Becky. Christmas. It is a Merry Christmas to everybody. It's a beautiful day here on Christmas it Day. It's amazing. Well, this absolutely is my favorite day of the year because this ministry is called New Life. Mm-hmm. And today we celebrate the birthday of the new life that gives new life to every human being Mm -hmm. out there and we're so grateful that in this amazing amazing universe that it's just you know when you say the word unfathomable or what is that uh despicable me where he says unfat anyway he says it in a funny way yeah but (laughs) the size of the universe is beyond uh, ever understanding And in the midst of all of that, and many planets that are gray or white or whatever, and here's this beautiful little marble that's green and blue and white and just the perfect amount of gravity Mm -hmm. so that you don't have to crawl because it's so great or you're not flying around because it's so perfect amount of gravity, perfect atmosphere. We're alive and God sends his son jesus christ who with god created this world all things were made for him by him through him and that little baby comes not just to say hey i'm here but to show us how to live show us teach us how to live and then dies so that we can live together with god that's what we're celebrating today and I just absolutely love that. It's truly the greatest gift of it all is. time. Mm-hmm. And it, it just keeps giving. It does. And you know, it makes me think about when we were in Israel, right? On one of our new yeah. life trips, which are mm-hmm. fabulous to go to. But yeah. walking around and seeing that Jesus, they didn't have wood back then. Like we have a lot of wood now to build. And so what the the trough right you think about jesus being put in this manger it Mm -hmm. basically is a hewn out stone it's this cold gray Mm -hmm. hewn out stone and the god who created the world and all the oxygen like you said and everything in it was willing to come and lower himself into this stone to be Mm -hmm. with us and to come for us and to save us i mean he didn't come on you know in this big parade with a bunch of angels around him he came so that we could relate to him we could feel him and know that he has been hurt in all the ways we have mm-hmm. but he is a warrior for us and wants to fight to help us heal hey um hey I mean, he was laying in hay and, um, <laughs> and, and they did have hay <laughs> royal robes would have been appropriate i know i know and, you know misty is so she's such a great mom and she's she's always talking about her um all of mary mm-hmm. and the courage that mary had and we honor her today also and joseph mm-hmm. joseph i mean go figure do- your yeah, right? your girlfriend mm-hmm. ends up pregnant and how confusing yeah um, but God yeah. wove himself into this mm-hmm. crazy story and yeah. he still weaves himself into our yeah. crazy stories because yeah, nothing same. is in nothing is too big for him. And if you're one of the Christians that think uh, abortion is okay, don't forget this this guy that came along right before Jesus, John the Baptist, mm-hmm. was filled with the Holy Spirit before he was ever born. Mm-hmm. For most of my life, I've been dealing with an opiate addiction. Why is opioid addiction quickly becoming one of our nation's biggest killers? 
Maybe it's because it isn't only those who are addicted who are in denial. We did what I see so many parents do, is it can't be an addiction. There's something medically wrong. It's impossible to solve a problem when you don't know what you're up against. And families will try to find any explanation except the one that will put them on the right path. Alcoholism and drug addiction is a family disease. It doesn't affect just the individual. If someone you love is abusing painkillers, know what you're up against. It's time to admit it's addiction and seek treatment. Call us today at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. We have Christ-centered partner treatment centers around the country. Call 1-800-639-5433 or visit us online at newlife.com. We just made a decision. We will do whatever it takes. 1-800-NEW-LIFE. To find out more information about New Life or to order any of the resources mentioned on today's program, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Now back to New Life Live. We're back. If you need some help, it's 1-800-NEW-LIFE. 1-800-N-E-W-L-I-F-E. Call us, please. We want to help you. And also, if you can help us, what a great thing to give, uh, give a gift today in honor of Jesus' birthday. Right. Please. Now, in honor of Jesus and what he's allowing us to do here, let's go to Knox from Reading, Pennsylvania, W-F-I-L. <laughs> Hi, Knox. How are you? Good. How about you? Doing all right. What's going on today? And Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. I know oh, this is a taped yeah, program, yeah, and it doesn't yeah. feel like Christmas because it isn't, but it really is, you know, if you're listening. Mm -hmm. So Merry Christmas, Knox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Merry Christmas to you, too. Um, so my question, I guess, was, um, as far as the addictions thing is, um, I hear, I hear a lot on here, people recommend, um, like Alnon and AA and NA and all that stuff. Yeah. I just feel like they're not real sanctified places to go to. I went through them. Um, I got, I got five years sober, but Good I'm just you. wondering why they don't recommend like a U-turn for Christ or a teen challenge or mm. something that's going to mm. speak life into their, into their life. You know what I mean? And yeah. really do, and let, you know, um, I'm not saying Knox. you need to go to a meeting, go to a meeting. That's not what I'm saying. No. I'm just Knox. saying, I'm wondering about that. Yeah. Great, great question. And I'm really glad you asked it. Uh, last night I was talking to my wife, um, a man called me, his wife uh, was struggling with alcoholism, and he wanted me to find a Christian program. And so we found a program, talked to him about that, a Christian treatment program. I was talking to my wife about it, and, and my wife said, well, I wonder if that would be appropriate for her right now given all of the things going on in her life. And here's, here's what she was talking about. That this person might be so caught up in the Christian world that she actually needs to step out of that arena, not step out of her faith, but step out of that arena and get, get some very, very um, groundwork recovery done that not only honors God, but is stripped of any kind of false religious stuff that somebody might say, well, that's, that's Christian, but it really isn't. It, it might be false religion. So, so the first thing I want to say is sometimes it could help to get out and get secular treatment in a different environment. The second thing is I am really big on Teen Challenge, mm -hmm. and on uh, and which isn't twelve step based, but they do all the stuff you do in the twelve steps. They just don't call it that. And Salvation yeah. Army and these kinds of Christian programs, really big on that. Uh, just think that uh, we can't do enough to support those kinds of programs. But here's the other thing, yeah. Knox, and and my wife did an article about this that's in the re the new Life Recovery Bible. If Christians right. don't go to secular meetings, how are we ever going to be able to say to somebody that's recovering, hey, um, I go to another meeting, like you're out in the parking lot. I go to another meeting, and it's a little bit different than this. Or, hey, Sunday I'm going to church. You want to like look at the spiritual part of your 
your recovery in a different way. Why don't you come go to church with me? If we don't go to those secular meetings, we're missing an opportunity to carry the message. Carrying the message, the 12-step work that we talk about, many times it needs to be done in 12-step groups as Christians. Yeah. Sherry, do you have a comment about this before we get back to Knox? So, Knox, can you tell us three things you've done to be sober from porn and heroin? That's just insane. I'm so proud of you. What What yeah, are the really. three top things? Well, the thing is, is I would say the, the most top thing is follow Jesus one day at a time. Yeah. Stay in the Word and um, surround yourself with people who are going to speak life into your into your life, um, and uh, <clears throat> I would I would just say that <clears throat> you know I come from a drug addicted atheist family background. I come from that. Ended up being wow. an addict myself. Wow. I went to the twelve steps and all that stuff, and um, now I just I'm not talking about a religious thing, but there are now. In churches, there are addiction meetings that are Christ-centered, you know? Yep, yep. Go through the Bible verse by verse and, and relate it to addiction. And, and, I, um, and I, and, and... Knox, I you haven't been listening to the pro... Knox, you, you haven't been listening to the program very long, have you? I have from here and here. Maybe I just turn it on when I'm not here, when I'm not, uh, when you guys say something other than... Because it just seems like I, I just heard more of the secular thing. I just feel like, the, you know, the first disciples, when they got saved, they led people to Jesus, you know? Well, like, and you know like, what? Oh, come. Having, yeah, having come. come from an atheist home, dude, I mean, it is. We talked about, we opened the show with Jesus is the reason, right? And mm -hmm. and you yeah. found, you found Jesus, and Jesus is everything, to you yeah, and you are yeah. a generational change agent you you have you just moved your family out of atheism to jesus followers and that is profound and i we all celebrate your sobriety and pray you continue to preach it dude and and take your faith yeah. and your sobriety on the street and one oh, one last cool. thing knox you know uh in case you didn't know steve is one of the co-editors of the life recovery bible that has changed millions of lives literally i bet i bet he doesn't yeah. even know about a life recovery why don't you, know you send that? him it why yeah, don't you I sign do. it and I do. oh you do you do <laughs> have it okay yeah i teach a uh, addictions meeting in reading at a boxing gym with people from <laughs> nice. the show, all kinds of places come there and i give them away nice the you are okay. Okay. amazing okay Knox. so here's here's what we're going to do Knox. i've got some old copies that i'm going to uh send you yes it will get your address and I'll send you some of the other materials that we have around here from our office in Indiana to honor you. We start, you know, Reba, when you call 1-800-NEW-LIFE, Reba is there. She helps people start Christ Center recovery groups. My wife runs two groups for women right now. One, a general recovery group, Christ Centered at our church, Northview Church. She also does one for women who struggle with sexual integrity. And uh, so we're really big on this, and I, I guess we don't stress it enough. Maybe, uh, I don't know why we don't, but we really do believe that Jesus needs to be the higher power. We also believe yeah. that Jesus needs to be the higher power for a lot of Christians yes. that are going <laughs> to heaven, but in this life, they've never made Jesus yes. their higher power, their ego, their agenda, something like that is still well, the higher power. And you power. know what I was thinking, Knox, you may hear us refer to uh, al -Anon or uh, AA as groups because a lot of folks have never even gone to a group and they're reticent right. to just, you know, join in a process. And so we uh -huh. want them to do at least one next right thing. And that could be just going to that group. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, we hear you. We appreciate all you're doing. And and Knox, I, I, hold on, we want to get your address, I'll send you some stuff, but I was just at Tyndale and I saw for the first time the new workbooks that expand life recovery to help you do grief work mm -hmm. is one of them, another one with eating disorders, another working through uh, divorce, and then the other one, sexual integrity. Four new workbooks. They are going to be amazing. After 25 years. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, so uh, let's go, how about we uh, talk with um, this guy right here, uh, that's, no, maybe, I don't know, Samantha. It's not a guy, it's a woman, Los Angeles, California, Sirius XM. Hi there, how are you? Is it me? 
It yeah, is you. It's you. It's you. Uh, I, I have a kind of an unusual. Uh, I'm a misogynist and I'm a woman, and I have I work in a female-dominated arena. And in the last ten years, I've had. And I'm really into Jesus. I, I've I've had a long relationship with God since I was a little kid. But it, this is affecting me. Um, I, women are really getting on my nerves. I can't stand it. it it's affecting everything in my life. And I don't okay. know what's wrong with me. Am I well, androgynous? Or, well, you know, let me I ask can't you this. Stand the con- con- to see. Uh, I, huh? Can I say something? Sure. Samantha, before you go, um, you have identified yourself as a couple of different things. Um, one of them was that yeah. you were a believer of Jesus Christ, right? Absolutely. Right. And then you identified yourself as a misogynist and then wondered yeah. about, uh, you know, so. Androgynous. Yeah, androgynous. And I think sometimes um, we have to remain in our identity of Christ as we work out the other struggles that we're dealing with. And, you know, people getting on our nerves, no matter what their gender could be related to a whole host of things. Everything from our not um, being able to use boundaries for our own safety and our own benefit, um, you know, just different things like that. So I, I don't know if that's kind of in the same thought you're thinking, uh, Samantha, but Sherry, what do you think? Well, girlfriend, I, Samantha, I'm so curious about you right now. I'm just like leaning in, wondering about your heart, wondering where you've been, because I think you're trying to put a label on a wound that has yet to be uncovered there's a mystery in you there's there's a mystery in you that you have yet to see and know and we want to help you see if we can uncover that today because like for instance tell us about your mother just just tell us about your mother right now tell describe your mom to us tell us about her samantha hello yeah, I'm here. I was raised in a very liberal area, and my parents wanted me to see life through their eyes. And mm-hmm. uh, they were very easy. My parents were very easy. You know, they thought I was at a neighbor's house, and I'd be in New York City. And I love my what? parents. Wait a second. I know there were your parents, things. your your parents were so disconnected to you. They thought you'd be next door, but you were in New York. Right, but uh, see, they were very easy, and I was—I'm a very—I'm a very independent free spirit, very independent. I like, um, you know, to, to be on my own most of the time. I didn't want them interfering in my so life. So guess I was what? Angry them. I didn't want them around me. I know, and you, you know, know what? I, you know what you really missed, Samantha. You know what I'd do with you right now if I were there, and you probably wouldn't like it. You probably would squirm away, but I'd want to give you a big hug. Because no, I think I, I already no, I hate it. I know, I know, I know, and you know what? I I, I know. I There's a reason mom. you hate it. I, I know, but guess <laughs> what? Can can we just talk about your heart for a minute? Can we talk about your heart? Because that's yeah. what I'm fighting for right now, and I get how repulsed you're even feeling with me right now. That I feel very soppy yeah. and gooey and yeah, yeah messy exactly. and uh, like I'm gonna uh, like suck you yeah. in like an amoeba and yeah, I hate and it. I yeah, know, I <laughs> oh sweetheart, I know that, uh, you know. I know that. But you know yeah. what you missed out on, and why I can sense this from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet because you came out of the shoot, right? You were born and you were were full of fire right you have you're independent but independent spirits sometimes they aren't held they push back when parents try to coddle you and so parents get really awkward and uh, like feel bad like i don't know how to comfort her i don't know how to hold her and and so they they basically react to you pushing back And so then these free spirits grow up without being held well and comforted and and they start becoming more independent. But do you know what? We are made for needing comfort. We are made for soft things too. We are made, even as a female, we are made um, for warmth and nurture. And the reason I can talk so direct to you is I grew up with a mom 
who wasn't able to connect with me. And people yeah. sometimes I are mystified by why I am so comforting. But you know what? I had to learn it. I didn't get it. I used to be freaked out by women. I used to not go to these retreats with women. Like they'd have these I women's know. church right. retreats and I would be like, no way. But you know what I did? Right. I got in my own work and I spent four years with my first female. Her name is Judy Tanelshoff, my therapist. And she sat in one side of the room and I sat on the other. And she began to comfort me like I've never been comforted. And I wanted to run, but I stayed. And I stayed because you know what? I was changing and softening and becoming a whole person. That's what we want for you. Hold on, Samantha. 1-800-NEW-LIFE. I feel blessed to have had this opportunity for my needs to be met, connecting with other women who are fighting the same fight, hoping for healthy marriages, and growing closer to the Lord on their journey. My name is Shelly Martinkus, and I want to personally invite you to the Restore Workshop. If you have been affected by betrayal, it might be that your husband has been looking at pornography, it might be an emotional, a physical affair. I would love for you to come join us. I feel encouraged and hopeful that even in my struggle, I am enough. You will leave with hope, with a community of sisters ready to support you, and you will also leave with tools to move you forward on this journey. Through the sharing in our small group, I realize that I am not alone. Please don't hesitate. Pick up the phone, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. I would love to see you there. The Restore Workshop is coming to Southern California February 28th to March the 1st. Call 1-800-NEW-LIFE to find out more. That's 1-800-639-5433 or online at newlife.com. Hi, this is Steve Arterburn, and for 30 years, New Life has been the most trusted name in Christian counseling. Your ministry has saved my life. If you struggle with emotional hurt, family or marriage problems, the pit of depression, or the pain of addictions, we can help. I'm down 100 pounds now from what I was. You guys are awesome. You are a blessing to America. <laughs> Our treatment programs provide clinically appropriate solutions from licensed professionals, all in the biblical framework. I have had problems with alcohol. I think God has ordained this place to be His. You don't have to be a prisoner of your pain. Help is available at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. She tells me that I'm a new man and I feel like a new man. It worked for me and it can work for them too. This time it is different. If you're ready to take the first step toward genuine spiritual and emotional healing, please call us today at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. God can open the door to a better tomorrow right now. Call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. That's 1-800-639-5433. We'd love to hear from you. If you have a question or a comment, call toll-free 1-800-229-3000. Now back to New Life Live. <laughs> I'm like smiling. <laughs> All right. Okay, so Becky, you have a comment for Samantha because Samantha, you, you could turn this around. You, this could be the beginning of a whole new growth path and pattern for you if you'd let it. Becky, any thoughts here? Yeah, I was just going to say, it always reminds me of the fact that, you know, we we would love it to be everybody else's problem, Yeah, <laughs> but it's really ours. And so I want to just, you know, affirm what Sherry's saying is do your work. It You're not going to be able to change everyone on the planet to make your life a little yeah. bit easier, but your life can dramatically change so that you can go about the world and enjoy relationships and connection and not be averse to people who are trying to connect with you in a safe and loving way. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to send healing is a choice and how we love. Yes. And I want you to read the part about all about detachment and yes. insecure attachment. So I think you're going to find so much insight in there Take that strong spirit of yours and turn it into something that might be transformed into the, a powerful life reaching out to other people who have not had easy parents, but in actuality, detached mm -hmm. parents. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm glad you called. Let's go to Karen. New York City listens on the Internet. Karen, how are you today? Hello, I'm good. Thank you. What's going uh, I've on? I've been married for 25 years. My husband is a minister. He's been addicted to pornography for 50 years. The church Whoa. doesn't know it. 
Uh, he's been fired from a job because of uh, sexual harassment. Mm. And I want a divorce. I'm done. Okay, so why haven't you, up until this point, said either you get help or I'm out of here? I, I really don't know. Okay. Have you ever gotten any help for you? Yes, yes, I have, but I, I uh, discontinued it. Yeah, okay. Is it because you were just too ashamed, or, or what was the reason yes, that you... Yes, yes. Okay, I'm, I'm right. his fourth wife. Oh, mm. my. And how many years have you been married to him? 25. Okay. Well, Karen, I'm so sorry. Uh, you know, Sherry's written this wonderful book, Intimate Deception. Uh, Sherry, what do you say to Karen? Oh, girl. So uh, I know you haven't read my book yet, but I was also married to a pastor um, who was addicted to porn. And so I have my heart it breaks for you. In fact, when Steve said, how are you? And you said, good. I just wanted to sit with you and say, actually, you don't have to be good. It's okay well, to I, not I'm be okay. It no longer hurts me anymore. Okay, well, but let me let me challenge that a little bit. It no longer hurts me when you've been 25 years with mm -hmm. somebody who has been addicted to porn and who just got um, fired, right, for sexual mm -hmm. harassment. Yes. Yes. How, how is it that there's no pain in your heart right now? There was pain, but uh, now I'm just ready to leave. Okay. I'm okay. I'm ready to leave. Uh, and, and we hear you. We hear you. No one's going to make you stay right now. But let me just share with you something. We had a call. This was last week. We were on a call with a woman who was married about the same amount of time. And... She's been walking wounded now for two and a half years because she didn't yeah. understand the impact of betrayal trauma. So she healed broken. And that's okay. my concern for you. In fact, I did some research and what I discovered with 100 women uh, that 76% of them, that's three out of four, had clinical symptoms of post-traumatic stress. So All I right. get why you might be in relief if you're thinking about leaving him because you've been under this for a very long time subdued by it not pushing back you've been in this this world of ministry living this lie which i did too hey i'll go first i was living a lie okay i i was hiding what was going on in the church and in my marriage because i felt so much shame i didn't want to tell anybody right that's I I didn't I never did I know I know and so but all that shame is gonna go with you if you don't get into your own care well, Becky talked early on the show about doing our own work we have to okay. heal from the impact of deception and, and betrayal because if you don't it doesn't matter whether you end up with another person or not in your life you will not trust you will um not even trust your own judgment you well, mean and you know yeah, sherry you know talk about me financially also well, of course <laughs> i mean it it can't get worse can it but i think a lot of times we create these calluses too so i love that you're talking about this sherry in the fact that you know karen it makes sense that you would be in pain and that this decision to leave him has created some relief but there's a lot of healing in front of yeah, you to do. Right. There's a difference in being uh, not hurting anymore and not feeling hopeless anymore. Right. And I think when you made the decision that I, this is enough, I think some hope and, and a little bit of maybe optimism for the future, you were no longer stuck, tragically, to an unfaithful man. But we want to help you heal. Hope you'll come to Restore. We'll tell you about that. I'll send you intimate deception that's going to help you and i'll ask uh, all of us to pray for him so many other people in ministry like this and you just think the misery would be so great that they would do whatever it takes but it really is a real addiction we'll be back after this 
My wife had found me out through my past and my sexual addiction since I was a small child. It really gave me the opportunity to start digging into my past, start digging into my childhood, figure out what was causing me to feel the way I was feeling. Every Man's Battle will really give you that opportunity because all the guys there in that room are there for the exact same reason you're there. I don't want to be the reason that my kids are going to counseling. I don't want to be the reason that they begin to struggle with the same issues that I'm struggling with and I've got to put an end to this. Yes, you can be different. God does love you. You can be forgiven for this and there's a way out of this. But you have to acknowledge that you have to change and that there's a problem. If you're struggling, call us. There are people on the other end of the line who want to hear from you, who want to help you. We don't want you to hand down something to another generation that just looks like pain and destruction. You can hand down redemption. But you got to take that first step. Just give us a call. It's 1-800-639-5433. It's 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Hi, this is Steve Arterburn, and for 30 years, New Life has been the most trusted name in Christian counseling. I'm an addict, and I'm trying to get God in my life again. You seem to be able to get to the crux of a problem quickly. Our Christ-centered treatment programs can help you break free to embrace all that God has for you and your family. I just want to thank you guys for bringing me to a relationship with Jesus. There really is help for marital problems, depression, addictions, panic attacks, and feelings of hopelessness. I came back with so many tools to help me prepare myself to fight this struggle and this battle that I have every day. You can start living again today. Living the life God intended for you. Help is available at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. They did care and they did follow up very lovingly and it made all the difference in my life. Call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Someone who cares is waiting at the other end of the phone. God can open the door to a better tomorrow right now. Just call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. 1-800-639-5433. glad you joined us for New Life Live. To be a part of the program, call 1-800-229-3000. Now back to New Life Live. We're back. Really glad you're with us here today. And Karen, I'm going to send you uh, Healing is a Choice, Intimate Deception. We want to talk to you about getting to restore anybody else. You know, man, that's tough. 25 years. Horrible. So many times we know that we have to do something, that we have to take a step a bold step, a brave step. And there are so many forces that are keeping us in the same old, same old. And so when Karen talked about just that relief, it's because she had finally stepped out of this kind of secret, the shame that wasn't hers. It was his. But, uh, you know, I want to encourage everybody. We're looking at a new year, 2020. It's a new year to get some new vision, to look at life a different way. And if there's some secret that you're carrying, whether it's because of a relationship like what she just described, or maybe it's something that's happened to you that you have not been able to get help. You know what? Don't hesitate. Give us a call. We will get you connected with somebody. But today's the day. This is a great way to celebrate celebrate Christmas is to move forward into that new year with a new yeah, hope. Please do. When I Come when on. I think about you know what she's been in for so long, I, I think about the scariest day for me was when I told was mm-hmm. when I shared the secret with the the staff mm-hmm. and. You'd think the scariest day would be the day that I found the porn or the day that I found mm-hmm. out about the affair or the day that yep. I found out about the prostitutes. And and those were horribly devastating days, horribly. But the mm-hmm. scariest day was telling because I knew mm-hmm. if I told, things would change. And yes. that's, but, mm-hmm. but this is the thing. When we don't tell, nothing changes. And then that's there's right. sexual harassment charges. Then, uh. then a whole congregation gets right. hurt on top right. of our hurt. And right. so if you're listening today and you just heard this call, I, and Becky's appeal, I want to invite you mm-hmm. to give us a call so we can support you in in walking into a, a scary day of change which will change everything and it stops the madness the deception that's eating your life and uh, your husband's life or your wife's life whoever's acting out and it's eating a congregation alive 
So do you know what, you know, one of my favorite sayings is people stay in hell because they recognize the street names. We keep oh circling goodness. the block wow. because it's familiar. Hmm. It doesn't matter that it's hmm. awful and it's terrible and we're, we're having the worst experience of our life. We know what that looks like. Yep. So it's really hard for us to take that brave step into a new block. Yep. <laughs> into a new city and have a new life. And we want to encourage you, and we're going to help you to do that. Give call us a call. 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Tammy, Reading, Pennsylvania, WBYN, great station there. Hey, Tammy, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Um, I'm, I'm 47 years old, and I am just de- battling chronic pain, fibromyalgia, and small fiber neuropathy. It's a very painful mm-hmm. type of neuropathy. Neuro- Mm. Um, I, I went to call. I raised my kids for 15 years, so they would not have to go to daycare. I went to culinary school. I did that for two years, and I had to leave on medical leave eight years ago. So, mm. because I can't stand on my feet very long, mm-hmm. I can't stand on my feet. Actually, I can walk a little bit, like maybe half a block for the whole day. Um, and now I can't even cook for my family and mm. do like the simple things. And I, I love God. I've loved him for like 28 years when he saved me. I went to Bible college with my husband. We moved our family down there. Like we follow God. But so Tammy, I, Tammy, what can I, we help I, you with today? Because I don't want to kill myself. Mm. But I'm completely trapped in my body because like I have so much pain when I use my eyes or my feet and now I can barely sit down or lay on my mm. side because of the so I don't know how mm. to keep going but I love God but I don't want to go to hell because I, I commit suicide and I don't want to destroy my loving godly family well we don't want you to do that either I want to say one thing you know do you still have people around you Tammy is your husband still with you do you have people that are with you yeah okay you have my husband and my four children which are 16 okay. to 28 years old and you know one of the things that um first of all I, I i want you to commit to not killing yourself that you'll that as as hard as that pain is that that won't be an option for you and i think so many times when we are feeling that way you know suicide is not a feeling it is an action but there are so many feelings that are going with it and if you're dealing with chronic pain that has been overwhelming and and it seems like your world has gotten smaller and and yet your mind is is still full of ideas and things that you want to accomplish in your life and 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 so just trying to cope with the chronic pain is going to take a lot of work but it is worth it because you have a family that loves you that you're surrounded by and um you know i just i, I don't know if that provides um kind of a different window but sherry what would you say to tammy as she's uh talking about this well first off we are heartbroken that this is your daily most of us get up on the in the morning and put our feet on the ground and put shoes on and we don't even think about it so I just want to ask our listeners to put you Tammy on their prayer list um, that they can pray that your heart can be supported and that you will begin to find look for explore solutions that maybe feel out of the box when when we're in chronic pain when we're in chronic pain we feel trapped especially when it's our own body there are some amazing new treatments that are being discovered in this this last year to two surrounding fibromyalgia and chronic pain and we just may not know about it we may not have tried it we might be aver- have aversion to different psychotropic meds that might be able to help you. Some- sometimes we need to elicit medications to help block our brain from experiencing pain at the level that you're experiencing it. Are you working with a pain clinic? Are you working with specialists in in the world of fibromyalgia? Yeah. Are you working with non traditional yeah. medication, non traditional treatments like um, 
uh, you know, many there's well, so like supplements, yeah. nutritional supplements and stuff. When I tell you, like, and like, I've tried like nortriptyline, all these different ones. Me and my husband just flew to Boston to see if he can help with my eyes. And so I've tried for eight years all these different things. Now I'm actually on medical marijuana, which is like the, like, I feel ashamed to use that. Oh, girl. Because, well, don't be ashamed. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? I, be, be, because if it's something that can ha- help to take the edge off of it, there's no shame in that. It's it's mm-hmm. giving you life because, like as Becky mentioned, the the more permanent thing you would do is take your life, and that shame and that hurt with the loss of you would always be remembered by your kids. That would be yeah. the very worst thing, very worst legacy you could leave. So the shame of using ma- medical marijuana far is far lighter than the shame of taking your life. You know, the hard part about chronic pain is that it is something that we have to learn to live with mm. and we fight against it. And so while we're looking for remedies and resolution to pain, whatever the level is, we also need to work on our uh, finding our own serenity, which I know you think, how does recovery fit into chronic pain? Right. It absolutely fits mm-hmm. into chronic pain because our lives do become unmanageable because the pain runs the life. And so I just want to encourage you, Tammy, you know, in these days um, that you connect not just with um, people who are going to provide pain relief, but people who are going to speak life into you that it won't your life won't all be about the pain. Steve? Right. Well, Tammy, a good friend of mine and our ministry is Johnny Erickson Tata. Mm-hmm. She created a Bible called the Beyond Suffering Bible. I actually got to, to write a, a, a part of it and I'm going to get a copy to you. Uh, because I I think for well you know she is a chronic pain sufferer and has really found a way to live with it and through it and have some victory but I think this Bible is going to um, I think it's really going to be a great comfort to you and uh, we'll find out what form you want it in because you could get it in audio you know, or on ki- uh, Kindle I don't know if it's audio or not but we'll we'll find out. But that's my. That's going to be my personal gift to you. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'll tell you about another Bible that uh, you guys could could get right after this. I also wanted to introduce her. Maybe she knows about it. There is a support group called FibroandPain.org, which is a support Perfect. group community online yeah. uh, for those that are struggling, just yeah. like you. Mm-hmm. If you need some help, uh, we've got a lot of different things that can help you deal with the reality of pain that doesn't go away. Mm -hmm. It's always there. My wife asked me for the first time in 2011 if I would consider myself a sex addict, so I signed up. You know, I'd read the Every Man's Battle book, and it was a great book, but the workshop, it was the experience that really was key for me. If, if they go to EMB, they're going to be in good hands. You know, this is a safe place. They're going to be surrounded by men that simply walk the talk. The weekend leaders that they will go through this workshop with, they'll help them to get to the root of their issues. You know, I've been through a number of well-preached sermons, listened to and read countless books, uh, been to a number of seminars. But EMB for me was, it was a game changer. It truly saved my life. Being in this community, being in this workshop, being around these men will change them if they'll let them. You're going to encounter men that will meet you where you're at, and you will instantly walk into a safe place where they're welcome. If you're struggling, call us. We don't want you to go on struggling. Just give us a call. It's 1-800-639-5433. It's 1-800-NEW-LIFE. I was really living a very anxiety-filled life. I turned on New Life, and the topic that day was about anxiety. And just by listening, I got relief. You can help New Life Live stay in the air by joining Club New Life today. When you sign up to support us monthly through Club New Life, we'll send you a set of four devotionals, 100 Days of Character, Peace, Prayer, and the newly released 100 Days of Healing. Plus, there are ongoing benefits like access to the Club New Life video library, the monthly Club New Life CD or download, quarterly resources, free shipping on purchase resources and discounts on workshops. I did go to Take Your Life Back. That's been immensely helpful to me. That's why 
I continue to support the ministry with the hope that it not only am I helping my own situation, that I'm helping others as well. Support Club New Life, and together we can help hurting people find help and hope in life's hardest places. Call 1-800-639-5433 to join Club New Life today. To find out more information about New Life or to order any of the resources mentioned on today's program, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Now back to New Life Live. We're back. Steve Arterburn here. And uh, I want to start uh, this segment in a way that uh, I don't usually start a segment. But Larry and I have a common friend. He's a friend of this ministry. He used to work with us, work with Larry. His mm-hmm. name is Mike. And I'm just going to ask everybody mm-hmm. to pray for Mike. Mike mm-hmm. has got some health challenges and um and decisions. big decisions what's that and decisions and, yeah and decisions big decisions to make and i just want you to pray for him he's, he's one of my favorite people mm-hmm. in all the world and when i found out that he could come and work with us it was one of the greatest days of my life uh it was it was good too larry when i found out you could work with us. but uh <laughs> especially me. so larry um yeah. here it is christmas and you know we we talk about this in fact i did our christmas card this year uh with a a little Mm -hmm. picture of jesus saying um that this changes everything and all year i've been saying this that no one thing changes everything you know you 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 fix one thing you've got all sorts of other things to work on well no one thing changes everything unless that one thing is everything Mm -hmm. and that is jesus and it's his birthday today and i just i want some people to step up on christmas and in honor of his birthday support this ministry what happens when somebody supports us larry well you know thanks steve i was thinking christmas birthday gifts are always in order and but it feels funny coming on christmas day and saying please support new life but I want you here here's just one letter a lady wrote a few years ago I was suffering from chronic depression I waited for the Lord to heal me with a miracle but it was your ministry God used to lead me to seek help Mm -hmm. I found the right therapist and with the support of my family I'm totally functional I'm no longer gripped by fear and depression I was contemplating suicide at 36 and soon I'll be 50 years old that's so and cool. That's that's the gift you give to people when you give to new life. Yeah, you give a gift of total transformation. People think differently. Uh, it affects so many people generationally and across the board right now. But I just want to say, I mean, it's Christmas time, and you know, Thanksgiving is the time for thankfulness. But Christmas is too. And what more can we be thankful for than the gift that? God gave to us and his son Jesus and what he has done for us both eternally and in this life right now and so if you can support uh, what we do in helping people like this lady that wrote about uh, you know the miracle never came until your ministry and God Mm -hmm. God used your ministry to lead me to seek help and we want to be here for the next person that just has no other place to call or the person that decides i'm going to call them first right yeah so thank you so much and merry christmas to everybody all right so i i want to um do a special offer here on christmas if you were to give 100 dollars to new life it's going to be matched we have a matching gift so it's going to be matched and so it's the equivalent of giving essentially 200 because it's going to be doubled if you do that and you ask for a very special thing that I have. I found uh, some more of these uh, down in our storeroom. It is the Restoration Bible and it is covered in genuine leather. Mm. It's a leather, if you've never had a Bible that's genuine leather, it's such a great thing. Now here's what I'll do. I've been doing this with Kirby McCook and the Jesus Chronicles, but I'll do it for this. You give us your name or the name of someone you wanna give it to, an address, and right here out of our uh, Carmel, Indiana office, I will sign it. I will dedicate it to that person and write them a note and we'll send it to them. And that's just for a gift of $100. Our way of saying thank you for supporting New Life on Christmas Day. It's leather and it is one special Bible. It's a growth plan 
based on the acronym RESTORE. You know, Steve, I remember at one of our donor events, one of our um, folks said that that Bible, that Restoration Bible, was one of the greatest blessings to him and his yeah. family. Yeah. And um, he did that's a that. great offer. And it's a beautiful Bible. And feel that. I mean, yeah, that's the amazing. genuine leather one. Yeah. And so, and it's and got tabs, tabs, so you can find things. the things. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll send that to you, our way of saying thank you. And I do thank you. And here's why we want you to give. This is a restoration ministry, mm-hmm. and it's a transformation ministry. And we put that support right back into the ministry to find somebody that needs a scholarship, to uh, pay to be on radio, to do a workshop. All of those things are part of what we do right here. I don't Steve. think I don't think we're ever going to be out of work, but we need the finances. We need the support yeah. to help us we keep do. helping people. Yeah. yeah, I just wanted to say, you know, when we give gifts, it costs us something. You know, it's usually a few dollars, might be a lot of dollars, but the cost is not really painful to us. And when you think of what God gave to us on Christmas morning, the very Amen. first one, I mean, what a cost that was. That was painful. That, I mean, his life was amazing, but he gave somebody over to die, really. That was, that was the beginning of his walk to the cross. Mm-hmm. Amen. And so I just hope that you folks will, as you think about giving something uh, to, as in terms of a ministry gift to new life, um, the cost cannot be any greater than what God has done for us. So if you'll make it something that you feel something that really does feel like it maybe cost you we would appreciate that so so in essence you're saying give jesus a birthday gift today by giving to new life which it just keeps giving and giving and giving yeah and you know it's you're honoring christ you're honoring your own legacy and heritage and we will honor you in the way that we are good stewards with that support and uh, of course larry heads up all of that and he really does. Um, I, I just, we've had people from other large ministries. They look at our warehouse. They can't believe how much we ship out of our warehouse with so few people. They look at some of our systems. They can't believe that we're able to do this. And it's because it's been our focus to, to do the most we can do with whatever support that we have. So we will honor whatever you send to honor the Lord today. And again, I'm just going to tell you, it's the Restoration Bible. And it's a wonderful, wonderful Bible. It's genuine leather. You will love carrying this. And I'll I'll put your name on it or someone you love, and I'll send it to them. We'll send it right out. I'll autograph it, and I'll dedicate it to them. Write a note to you. And also, you know, for $20, we'll still, we can still send Kirby McCook and the Jesus Chronicles to a child 8 to 12 that you want to learn about Christ and all that he has done. You know, Larry, we have so many resources that are available in that warehouse in Dallas. Uh, People so committed there, it's so organized. You you do so much out of that warehouse. I just have to believe that some folks are approaching the new year thinking, hey, what am I gonna use to grow this year? What am I going to uh, experience with the Lord in the morning or the evening when I do my quiet time? We have so many great products. I think about the really the most beautiful devotional series we've done, the 100 Days series. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're so wonderful. And uh, you can get those. You just call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Steve, I want to first, real quickly, I want to thank Sherry. She just handed me a check that's going to be double. Oh, Larry. Well, but you know why I did it? Because it's double. Why wait? You know, mm-hmm. again, give Jesus a birthday gift today. Uh, I, <laughs> That's right. I also, you know, we have an incredible staff, but uh, Steve, you you and I have been part of making some decisions about staffing because yeah. we asked our own staff, well, what do we need to keep, to do better and more efficient? There are 10 people we should be hiring right now. And unless we get the budget for it, we might hire one of those. Yeah. So we yep. appreciate your help. I appreciate the staff yep. we have, incredible staff. Oh, they're amazing. Sherry, thank you. You have such a generous heart. Thank you, Becky Brown. Thank you, Larry. Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas Merry to Christmas. you all. Merry Christmas. Big hug. Yep. Yes. Big hug. See you next time right here on New Life. Thanks for listening. We hope this program has helped you by giving you insights for handling the challenges you face in your life. We want you to know that we're here for you. But you also need to know that New Life Live is a listener-supported ministry. 
make your donation or to get any of the resources mentioned on today's program, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. That's 1-800-639-5433 or write to us at New Life Ministries, P.O. Box 1029, Lake Forest, California, 92609. Please join us again tomorrow for New Life Live. Hi, Steve Artemir here. Thanks for watching New Life Live on our New Life YouTube channel. You know, you can see it anytime. Hope you'll subscribe. And when you do, hope you'll turn that little button thing on the bell so that whenever we post a new video, it'll ring right through. Now, if you go to newlife.com, you'll see the schedule of when we're in the studio, which is helpful to know if you have a question for the program. Or you could go to newlife.com or call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. You could do this on the app. I mean, there's so many ways that you can stay in touch with us and know when we're there because we want to answer your questions. So thanks for watching right here on the New Life YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Click here to subscribe.